Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory be to God. So, remember, it's your responsibility to ask. Is God responsible to save you? It doesn't matter what. Whatever He has ordained for you, He has made provision for it. And that is what the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4. If you read from verse 1 through to the old chapter, but let's just center on 9 to 11. He says that there is a rest for God's people. And it is not everybody that will enter the I think I've just read it. It says, I'm reading 9 through to 11. So they remain a full and complete Sabbath rest for the people of God. For the one who has once entered his rest has also rested from the weariness of pain of his human labor, just as God rested those labors uniquely. His own, rest from his own. Let us therefore make every effort, every effort, don't forget that word, every effort, to do what? Enter to the rest of God, to know and experience it for ourselves, so that no one will fall by following the same example of disobedience as those who died in the wilderness. So if you don't have that understanding and knowledge that there is a rest God has ordained for you, that is waiting for you to connect with, you will just labor and you'll just fail all through. You know? And that is why the Almighty God Himself, in Genesis 2, verse 2 and 3, the Bible says He rested and He blessed the Sabbath day. There is a rest. We are not talking about sleeping or those things, that kind of rest. Rest of assurance. Rest of knowing that it will be well. Rest of assurance to know that you know, if I do my bit, God will do his bit. Don't forget that. So do your bit.